Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum and welcome to another episode of Let's Eat Street. As you can tell today, we're not in our regular kitchen. We're doing this one from home, but we're still going to be bringing you some of the most mouth-watering cuisine from all around the world directly to your living room. And as ever, I'm joined by our very talented chef, Chef Nitesh. Come through to the kitchen. How you doing, bro? Good, how are you? I'm good, alhamdulillah. Tell us a little bit about what we're doing today on Let's Eat Street. So today we're making uh, mango lassi granola. Yes. We're making French toast. Yes. We're making uh, egg burji. Uh. Kima. <laughs> we're making uh -huh. kima and we're gonna sell we're gonna serve the egg burji and kima with the pao. You bought it back with the kima. As you know, I'm not a big fan of egg. But as you know, yeah, I'm just gonna give it a twist and I'll make sure you enjoy it. That's the challenge. He's gonna make me like it. So let's see what happens, okay? Let's get started with let's our get started. egg first, is it? No, it's gonna be kima first. Okay. We'll start with the oil. Yeah. Feels different, doesn't it? <laughs> Not in our regular kitchen. Does a little I bit. didn't even have to dress like this, but I just like dressing like a chef, so bought my apron. Got my hat. You know. Once the oil is hot, yeah. we'll start with a little bit of cumin seeds. Go. Ginger, garlic. We cook this for a couple of minutes. Are you going to have anything for me to do today? I do have it. Once we're done with the cooking bit, yes, I do have a lot of things for you today. You're going to assemble the mango lassi granola for me. And uh, you're going to make the mixture for the French toast. Okay. Uh, and then... Yeah, I think the sort of things okay. that we've got on today's show, it's sort of breakfasty things, but this is the type of thing that you can try for sahur as well. Yes, and I guess we maybe are also, in Ramadan. We're also going to be making masala chai. Oh, wow. There you go. Yeah. Perfect breakfast, or you can have it for your sahur as well. Lots of different choice for you guys today. There's lots of things here on the counter. I'm still trying to figure out what we're going to do, but I'm sure it's going to be good. As you can see, the ginger garlic has now gone a bit golden. Gonna add getting nice onion. and brown. Yeah. Yep. Tell me about the dish that we're making. Where is it from? Where did you learn it? Where does it originate? So this one is also one of uh, a street food from Bombay. Yeah. And. Uh, to be honest, this has got a recipe where everyone has got its own recipe. But I remember where I had it once uh, in Bombay. It was opposite a college. And uh, when we went there, the taste was amazing. It was mm. the spices that they used for something else. So I just uh, went and obviously spoke to the chef there. And uh, he, he obviously roughly told me the procedure of making it. Uh, Gave me secrets away. Maybe he did not, you know, because he actually didn't tell me all the all the actual spices. Yeah. But uh, he did mention uh, uh, the procedure of why is it different to the other kimas, you know, what I mean? the way yeah. other cook them, yeah. others cook them. Uh, so it was quite interesting. And then I think I came back and uh, I tried it. Uh, couldn't get the, exactly the same, but I got close enough. So I thought, yeah, it is one of the dish. It's it's one of the recipes that I stick to when I make uh, my kima. Mm -hmm. Well, so I'm glad see, I get to try it today. I can see the onions are translucent as well. I'm going to add the kima. Are we using lamb? Yeah, lamb. You just have to make sure you break the lumps. That's the most important thing with the kima because you don't want the lumps. You want it like you know, nice and uh, grainy but not lumpy. Yeah. Obviously, to break the lumps, there is what you can also do is the whisk, the actual whisk. If you keep 
mashing it with the whisk. Yeah. Then yeah, the lumps go. And the other thing is what you can also do is with a fork, you can keep stirring it with a fork. And then yeah, yeah that will also help you uh, to break the lumps. It all depends uh, what's your comfort zone. When you cook in the restaurant, because we cook about 20-25 kg at a time, obviously yeah. spoon is not the best option. That's when we use the whisk. Yeah. Okay. And it's only, how do I say, it's only the first part. Now when it's when it's actually cooking, this is the only time where you can break the lumps. Yeah. Because once it's oh, cooked, then it's too late. Yeah. yeah. Once it's cooked, then they don't break because they have cooked it. Yeah. It's cooked, the meat is actually cooked. So everything that we are cooking today, it's, um, as I'm sure you mentioned, it was it's for breakfast or, you know, uh, you can say the afternoon tea, you know, the high tea, uh, oh. afternoon tea. Very sort of uh, time, yeah. Afternoon tea, huh? Rather, I'll just be happy with my breakfast. With my keema, my breakfast, yeah. Keema for breakfast, though. Bit of a. I, but I guess that works more for Sahu when you you want something yeah. that's gonna get yeah. you through the day. Yeah. You want an energy packed breakfast. Yeah. Not everybody's waking up to have keema for breakfast, eh? That's what it's about here on Let's Eat Street. Showing you new things that you can try from the comfort of your own home. This and all the other recipes and ingredients, so everything that you've seen uh, Chef Nitesh make on this show is going to be available on the website. So do go check that out and you can try all of this from your own home. Now we're going to add the spices to this. Turmeric powder, so meat masala, cumin powder, coriander powder, lots of spices. I'm gonna cook it. So normally, what people do is one of the one of the ways where people cook is they cook the onions, they cook the tomatoes, and the last thing they add is uh, the keema. Yeah. So that's what this uh, chef was telling me that you know if you put the spices straight onto the keema, yeah, it absorbs It'll more soak them all up, yeah, uh, masala, yeah, and uh, yeah, that's what uh, helps to enhance the taste of the dish. Brilliant. We're going to cook this in a slow flame. Yeah. So now if you see, the keema is nicely cooked. Can you smell it? Yeah. Yeah. It's coming together. Mm. Getting the smell. Now we're going to add tomatoes to this. Yeah. A little bit of green chilli. It's a little bit. <laughs> And we're going to leave it on a slow flame on the other side. While we yeah. crack on with, with the burji. The burji. Leave it on a slow flame. That. Perfect. Now let's. Start with the burji. So again, start with the oil. Okay. So we'll start with the oil. Yeah. Okay. A little bit cumin seeds, and in here we're not going to add garlic. We're just going to add ginger. Yeah. And uh, green chilies. We'll wait for this. This is basically it's gonna be like a scrambled egg. It is. It is. But it with is other things added egg. in yes. there. Yes, it is. Yes. So we're gonna whisk this a little bit so it comes together. It's gonna be spicy, isn't it? No, no, it's no? not gonna be. No, no, no. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It's already bad enough. I have to deal with the egg. Don't want it to be too spicy. It. 
onions, onions. or green pepper. Yeah. Oh, this has got quite a quite a few things in there. Then, Red huh? pepper. Yep. That's good. I like that. It might drown out some of the eggy taste. Oh, that's plenty. Ah, not so bad. I'm looking forward to it now. Look at the back. We gotta switch. It must be very different cooking in a normal kitchen compared to the restaurant kitchen. It is. It's it's because of the you know the, the strength of the flame. Yeah. Uh, in the restaurant kitchen is quite high. Yeah. Uh, you can get a lot more done for a lot more people, I guess. Exactly. That, that, that's one thing and you can get a lot more quicker as well. Yeah. So if you, I don't know if you uh, noticed, after we put the oil in restaurant, probably about 10 seconds, the yeah. oil is hot enough. Yeah, straight away. Go, uh, straight away. For the other ingredients. But yeah, yeah, at home it takes time. But it's good. You know what, to be honest, slow cooking is actually good. Uh, my dad used to say, um, you know, when I started uh, cooking, and I think I cook a couple of times at home, not much, but I, yeah. I, used, I was cooking on a very high flame yeah. at home. And then he's like, so what are you doing? I said, ah, it's, no, it's just not coming out right, it's just too slow. And he's, the, that's one tip he gave me. He said the best food is cooked when the flame is controlled. It's, you know, it has to be low. So yeah. probably that is why uh, everyone loves home cooking, home cooked food. Yeah, well, I love your home cooked food. Nothing beats home cooked food. We've got this and a lot more all after this break. Join us again on Let's Eat Street. Welcome back from the break. We're halfway through our egg burji. So we're just going to go through completing this. And then we've still got the lassi to look forward to as well. That's the one I'm really looking forward to. You know me. I love my lassi. Going to add a bit of turmeric. And pepper to this. That's mm -hmm. all the spice you need because, you know, you don't want garam masalas and uh, any of the powdered spices because yeah. uh, Look, now egg has its own uh, taste to... And there's already a lot going on there exactly, as well. Exactly, yeah. You don't yeah. want to make this into a curry. No. I like how colourful it is as well. It's been one of the themes of the show. I love how colourful and fun and exciting the food can be. Not just the taste of it as well. But this is something that you guys miss out on at home. You don't get to smell sometimes how amazing this food actually is. See the egg has all come together. Yeah. Just gonna finish it with a little bit salt mm -hmm. and butter. 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 Say in a Birmingham accent. Butter. 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 Yeah. <laughs> He's getting it. So we're done with the burji. We'll just wait for the butter to melt. Butter. I'm finished with coriander, of course. So as you can see, the butter is nicely melted as well. We'll just keep this aside and we'll start with the mango lassi granola. Well, hey! Right, what do you want me to do? Our burji is ready, so let's yep. uh, start making the mango lassi granola and I okay. want you to make it for me. I'm here. I you get all the ingredients for you in a bowl. Yeah. But that's your real test. You have mm. to make sure yeah. the yogurt is blended in very, very smoothly. Yeah. So with the mango pulp. We got a yogurt, a mango and pulp. Mango pulp. Yeah. Anything else for now? No, that's it. I want you to whisk that for me. Yeah. That looks good. That looks you, like the you, best whisking you've ever seen. That's what that yeah, looks like. Yeah, you know like. what I thought you will come up. You'll, there Why might you be some lumps. Perfect. I'm just checking, just making sure it's right. 
Okay, come on. We'll move here. And we'll add some icing sugar. Now, the reason why we are adding icing sugar, we can add sugar as well. But what happens is when you mix the sugar, it gets a bit runny. Yeah. So that's the reason why we are adding icing sugar because then it will give you the sweetness as well. Plus, it will let the consistency of this uh, dish be a bit thicker. See, we're getting all these secrets out. Now we're going to add fruits to this. So we've got honeydew melon. We've got green grapes, red grapes berries and strawberries. So now, to be honest, this you can add whatever fruits you want. It's entirely it up to in. you. You can add apple, pears, oranges. It's, it's entirely up to you, whatever you fancy. Put it all in, bro. As you can see, I'm proper healthy in that. It takes a lot to maintain this figure, so just throw it all in. So that's all done. Lovely. That's all done. So we're going to leave this here and we're going to start with our French toast. And I'm going to start making the tea. The tea, not just any tea. It's masala chai. This is masala chai. Add water. Yep. Milk. What water to milk ratio do you use? So I use three fourth milk and a quarter water. Okay. Yeah, so three is to one. Yeah. Go cinnamon stick. Some ginger over here, which I just need to crush a little bit. So you can normally chop the ginger as well, but I believe when you crush it, you get more uh, stronger flavor. Another key thing which I prefer is I prefer my milk to be boiled before I add the tea bags. Okay. Because otherwise I believe uh, the tea might boil, but the milk in it might still be raw. So I make sure so my milk you, is boiled. You gotta boil it, put the tea bags in, and then reboil it again. Exactly. Okay. So in that way, I know my milk is cooked. Yeah. And then when I put the tea, it's boiled again, so the tea is properly brewed as well. Okay. I've got here. That's for you. Thank you. I've got egg in here. Are you gonna do it? Oh, yeah. Let me do it. I was gonna get it out the yeah. way. <laughs> Got milk in here. So I'm just whisking again. Yeah, yeah you're gonna whisk it again. I've got a bit of sugar in here and a touch of cinnamon powder. That's it. With a little bit of oil. Don't need too much oil in here. We just need to sort of make sure we get a nice sort of crust on our bread, and that is why we need a little bit of oil. All right, you show me first. Yeah, I'll show you one. Yeah. All the sides, take it out, and there you go. Flip it round. Boom. Perfect, not bad. Do you want to try two more? Okay. <laughs> you can tell how little I do at home by how excited I get getting little jobs yep, like this. Perfect. I think that's, that's enough. Cook it normally, it might take about on a medium flame. It should take about one minute each side. So, our tea is boiling now. Gonna add sugar to this and tea bags. And we're gonna wait for another boil. And I'm gonna flip the brioche buns now. It's got a nice color to it. Yeah, just gonna cook it on the other side. Beautiful, that's done. I think we've got everything ready and we'll start plating up now. Gonna plate our egg burji. Now we'll come to our keema. Finish them with a little bit of coriander. And that's there. Gonna finish our French toast. 
take Nutella, spread it onto the bread, stuff it with strawberries and there you go. Gonna do the same to the rest of them. And there you go. That's your Nutella French toast ready. And finally, we'll serve uh, the tea. So this is the masala chai and we've used uh, crushed ginger, cinnamon stick, cardamom and uh, tea bag sugar. The main spice is cardamom and ginger. Got our egg, got our kima. That's our mango, yeah? Yeah, mango lassi granola. These are all dishes that we can have for breakfast. And what I'm saying is in Ramadan, I think this would make an absolutely perfect sahur as well. You've got your carbs, you've got some proteins, you've got something sweet. What am I going to have first? Ooh, I'm going to go for one of these buns. Nice and soft and buttery. You know what? I'm just really going to top this one up. I don't know why I'm trying to be polite. My own show. You know what I mean? There we go. I'm tempted to ask for ketchup, but I don't want you to hit me. Bismillah. The buns, soft and buttery. Kima, full of flavour. Do you want to try the egg burji? Oh yes. I'm so confident with the egg, I'm not even going to put it in that. I want to taste it for what it is. And we're going to have it like this. As always, taken something that I'm not a fan of, and you've made me a fan of it. Where am I going next? Uh, I think you should try the mango lassi granola. This is my breakfast right here. This is going to be my thing. And this mango lassi granola, and as well as everything else, you can find the ingredients, the recipe, all on the website. And inshallah, you can be having this for your suhoor or for your breakfast. Last the French toast. but not least, thank you. I don't know where to tackle this from. It's going to go in. That for me is the perfect combo. Strawberries and chocolate. So good. It'll make your hat fall off. Mm. And finally, to wash it all down, we've got our masala tea. That was amazing. You have absolutely outdone yourself. I don't know mm -hmm. what you're going to make next time to top this, but you guys can see it all on the next episode of Let's Eat Street, where we'll have delicious food from all around the world, whether it's a mouth-watering main, a sensational starter, or a delicious dessert. You can find it all here on Let's Eat Street. So join us again on another episode and you can learn how to make amazing dishes like this from the comfort of your own home. Join me and Chef Nitesh and let's eat street. To find the recipes for this episode, visit www.imanchannel.tv forward slash let's eat street.